it's time to give up folks it's time to tell the truth and just expect that the expect whatever we expected not to happen i've decided we must accept our fate and i'm double meaning here f a t e as well as f a i t h what are we going to do with this covid researched it it's just not going anywhere some are saying it's a milder form don't worry some are saying it's delta part 2 cup 2b and you know you have to be really worried because that was the worst some are talking in france they've exposed new viruses mutating left right and center like uh, india's population in the 90s or china's population in the last century but having come to a conclusion about all this there doesn't seem to be a proper answer or solution so let's accept that there isn't one since there isn't one we have to leave science in the back burner throw it away and go to the one thing that has kept this country going the one thing that keeps us as a nation happy and humorous to some extent and that is pujas i don't mean the girl next door i mean actual pujas we need to get religion involved religion has to save us i am starting a pro covid movement where we show respect to covid and we do pujas darshan sacrifices if need be uh, you can let go of one relative per family what's the big deal and make sure that we appease and assuage and tell great covid to leave us alone now let's try that route we try to destroy this vaccine this that and the other it's not really working beyond a point it's too macro this fight so let's turn to spirituality and let's ask the powers above below or on the left or right no political double meaning there to help us so all those who are willing to join please in our chat tell us you are ready to put your hand up and join the puja brigade uh, we will devise the puja according to secular traditions where every religion of the world will be accepted you'll all get one thing to do in this i'm just calling it loosely puja amit and silvery on this cock and bull edition will give me better terms because i want everyone to be happy let's not politicize the whole issue let's look at saving the world through something else because science uh, is failing and so is logic uh here is silvery our producer live <laughs> a word i shouldn't use too your, much from pawai yes please your your anthem Say. will have to be go corona corona go right that will be your anthem for that religion he's a mascot i won't take names he's a mascot yeah. you're spot yeah, on correct. we'll keep him if he's willing to come exactly in fact he he was the first guy you guys will not remember or you may 2020 the chinese ambassador to india or a high ranking diplomat and him they 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 sang they did a puja of sorts and they sang it was an appeasement song So hmm. there was a movement to go that direction, and then we cut it with your science and your facts and mass mask and vaccine, vaccine not working. God yeah. will save us. Amit Doshi, the rationalist, the last word on spirituality. What do you think? I, Jokes apart, dude. I, 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 I'm just assuming you're joking, right? Because you just said science is not the same. Maybe the very same science that basically put a vaccine in all of our hands in like within a year. That science is not going to save us. So sure, man. I, I'm just assuming that there is. Uh, I have this. Uh, I have a huge personal issue, Amit, which is lockdown blues. Okay, so you know, you know when you're. Uh, condition from childhood so to get upset over traffic for example in our case mm-hmm. again going on the elite way whatever yeah. it is no no i'm saying that the problem is the moment the lockdown is on the horizon somewhere in the back burner there in the background what have you i then get that terrible feeling inside my body of uh, loss of pain of angst of stress Agreed. and now i'm in, in that i've been i have you been doing it i've been researching every free minute about corona about covid about symptoms about this third version second version first version and think what the hell is going on i can't take it anymore just when we thought it was you know november december was sort of going on towards the sidelines and we weren't talking about it so much is back in your face that's my problem so I, I i hear what you're saying but lockdowns are a political problem not a science problem right it was a science problem or or it was a science solution before vaccines now that you have vaccines lockdowns are political and it's about uh, politicians scoring points with certain constituencies right there's no but why are you so anti puja no, what do you got to lose i'm, I'm saying dude, light one dia that's all i'm saying no uh, uh, but that's uh, a I, political I, thing I, I, listen, yeah. i can light a dia i can bang a thali i can do all of it right but i don't know how helpful any of that is going to be i think it's much more helpful when people stay at home or you when people decide to the terrorist yes. uh, uh, <laughs> no, so again like so while i uh. while i'm saying i don't agree with lockdowns right i do think that people should be cautious right right now in our space what have we done uh, what have we done i think yesterday there were like six people in office we i, I, I we've kept all office open because one realization is there that a lot of people have really small places to live right and so they need a place to work right so keeping office open is uh, i think essential but at the same time everybody has the option work from home if you want to nobody is being asked to come to office at all right now i was watching um, what is that show where with the entrepreneurs making money shark tank and kevin o'leary 
Kevin O'Leary talking about how he learned a lesson from his employees during this last 12, 24 months almost. What am I saying? 12 months. Folks, we're going to have two-year celebration in a month or so. Uh, and he was talking about how he learned a lot from the fact that people would come up to him and say that now we've realized we can work from home. So in America, it's a little different from here. I, I would say, I, just hear me out. In America, a lot of people thinking, oh God, maybe we can go back home. So this one guy said, I grew up on a farm. I'm an accountant. I'll do all your work. I want to work for you, but I will stay on my farm now. I want to get that back. And I want to look after my parents. He was, oh, they see blood in them, obviously, somewhere, 5 to 10%. So they are getting a revival of, hey, there's more to our life than work. We, mm -hmm. urban Indians I'm talking about, and especially those who are lesser equipped financially, there's a big fear of loss of everything if there's no office open. You know, it's a, it's a different so, thinking uh, space altogether from the average I, I, middle class American. So I, that's I, the right word. So I, I, this is what I would say is different, right? In both of these situations, I think uh, there are a lot of companies in India which are promoting a lot of remote hiring as well right now, right? In the sense that, you know, uh, why pay Bombay rents if it makes no difference to your job? Uh, this is typically happening in things where it's not, where, where the work is less collaborative. Right, where everybody has their own things that they need to go off and do on their own for a certain period of time. Where things are more collaborative, right? Where you need to have meetings and stuff like that, where you need to talk to people, where, uh, where like, you know, it's teamwork uh, oriented, right? Much more. I think in those situations, work from home, even in the US, is not really going to fly forever, right? I think that, yeah, we have realized that you don't have to come to office every day, but you do need to come to office a lot. No, no, I'm, I'm not talking about the, you're looking more at the materialistic situation. I'm talking about what the people are feeling inside, psychologically. Mm -hmm. So psychologically, they need to be in the office. They realize is not that important. And it's yeah. a sense of fulfillment that they're not. While for us, and uh, pardon me for saying this, but the people who listen to this show are not really those people because they're probably MBAs and doctors and engineers. And that's, that's another world in India. And uh, again, then that gives you the closer world to the American middle class. But mm -hmm. as you go down the financial ladder, unfortunately, a lot of people are desperate. That majburi feeling is there, that helplessness. And they want that office door that Amit Doshi is keeping yeah. open, open. So they feel self-worth, self-esteem, and the fact that maybe there's hope or light at the end of this uh, tunnel, which uh, it, is a different it, it, feeling. All to... So we've got, it's like a mix of all this happening in India, I'm saying, as against uh, other more homogeneous societies where it's going in one direction, more or less. So they are learning more but about I themselves. Think... I think it's more a, you know, it's actually, so I was talking, I, I, I look at our office and I look at what people want to do here, but also talking to a few friends, a lot of whom like, you know, one of them runs a digital influencer agency type thing. Another guy runs a, uh, uh, so, I mean, like all in the, uh, the these kinds of more digitally spaces, right? Finance, this kind of stuff, right? And one of the common things that we realize, right, is young employees, particularly in India, um, most of them, uh, uh, our living situations are different, especially if you're living in Bombay. The number of people who rent their own space and then go to work compared to the number of people who live with parents or live with roommates or live with this, right? Cost of real estate, right? Uh, all of that is such that it's really tough to work at home, much more so than it is for, like, for me, honestly, I was fine working at home for most of the stuff that uh, was to be done because I have my own space. Right. I, I have my own room. I can, I have a like, and, you know, uh, it is. No, and, and you made it into an office people. because you forced me to come to your space. Uh, <laughs> I would come there. And then if, if you left the room for two minutes, I would be without Wi-Fi or I'd have pressed some buttons. So I have memories of that. So in that sense, in, in a sense, you still were open. You were still open to people coming. Yeah. But it, it, for you, it's yeah. a different story altogether because you've got that responsibility factor in your head. So you've got to make that call. Where is the line? You know, the, there's a, the, where does the graph join at a, at a point where you have to decide real fear and versus uh, commerce or, you know, self-esteem and self-worth feelings. Or, because they're important, all these things. But they, I they just want to mention too, that right? young is relative, think... Amit, when you throw young out there. Because uh, oh. if there's young and there's really young. And that also affects how you think about coronavirus because you're thinking only about yourself primarily when you're just like in your 20s and when you're thinking in your 30s, you start thinking about everybody around you a lot. But the empathy level, I would I would think with age, sometimes gets a little better. At least I think from my own uh, life in college or your life in college, I'm presuming we didn't really think beyond our little world. And now, of really? course, yeah. It's, yeah, it's it painful. was a different world. If you grew up faster, yeah, was... the, the next generation. You but start I, next I, I generation think... for making fun of us, you're now suffering and growing up faster. No, but yeah. I, I'll yeah. tell you another thing that really helps, right? The fact that we're, when we're in office, and again, we had probably about a month of time where we had like 25, 30 people in the office, right? Every day. And it was great for many of them because the thing is that also, uh, 
uh, and Antriksh, maybe you can speak to this a little bit, right? But I feel like yeah. one of the things that used to happen with a lot of the producers who work with us, right? I never had one-on-one time with any of them over the entire one and a half year pandemic that we had. I didn't know any yeah. of them at all because I'd only ever meet them in meetings with three other people. Right, but while we were in office, I spoke were they to a females? Lot of them. Maybe there's a reason. <laughs> the male, female. Sure. Ignore okay. the, the, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. But the point being that I mean, like you know, the idea that you can talk, understand more about what we're doing, have like more, more deeper discussions and stuff like that. I feel like that is something that only happens in office. I don't feel like that happens when you do the. Uh, remote thing, right? And I mean, like they talk about this, right? You know, the lack of mentorship and stuff like that, that occurs for junior employees, especially in, uh, 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 especially in a work from home situation. No, but you explained it actually correctly, I think, because when there's a collaborative and the, at the end of the day, yours is both creative and marketing is so creative in a sense. It's not like it's not. So you, when you need that and you've got a new product, it's a new product, podcasts are new, everything is new about it. So the whole collaborative and collective effort that you're getting and energy that you're getting sometimes may not be matched by single. They can, of course, come up with great ideas, but possibly you're feeding more energy into the room with uh, the collective. I, I totally get yeah. that. But when you think of accountants, there are certain people who can actually do their work. It's just numbers. He needs his computer and he needs to look at the files. That's it. So technically, uh, but, a, 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 there's a cubicle which is unnecessary in a sense. Do you, what, uh, what, so you need I, what, what, I would I would disagree with that because uh, when it comes oh! to finance and accounting, I, I'll tell you why. Right when it comes to finance and accounting, a company like ours, I disagree. I don't know that this is true for everywhere, right? But oh, a company please. like ours, ninety percent of the work that the finance team is doing. Uh, not 90%, but a lot of it requires confirmation from different people. Now, this confirmation takes two minutes to get, right? That, hey, what was this expense for? Was it for this show? Was it for this thing? Was it for this thing, right? It takes two minutes to get that, but she needs to talk to like eight different people to get those things on a regular basis, right? And these are two-minute conversations. If she, she were to schedule all of these as calls with people, Right, everything would be half an hour. She'd get nothing done. It just it would be a. I, I think it one matters. email, one email with six pointers saying X, Y, Z, questions to be answered. That's it. Why is it so difficult? Yeah, See, but again, that the creative process where you, Silvery, and three other people are sitting around thinking, what do we do with Cyrus? Show how do we make it better, brighter, richer, younger people, whatever. That's a different process altogether. Now, the, the, I'm just it, saying, the, this is like black so and white. For me. You, you've got figures to be it answered, is. and 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 he's got to give you numbers. It is and it isn't, right? I mean, like uh, the uh, no, I mean, like in the sense that the uh, written communication in India is hard for a lot of people. Let, let's be this right in English for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, dude, business, right? When I did my reviews, the number one thing that I gave for people on the non production side as a piece of but feedback is amazing. take a business it's writing course. Of course. But they've got no, they've got a, the correcting uh, auto correct and all kinds they, of things available. It's also people no, 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 being no, no, a little no, lazy. No. It's not just lazy. Also, the, dude, here's the thing. This, this, this is a question that takes three seconds for somebody to answer. Writing an email takes 20 minutes to do for people who are not that. The, the business true. writing is, it, it, it's a, you know, it What's was a that? thing that I, I literally, I put it in like 10 different rules that you must take a business writing course. So, Sylvie, did you take a business writing course? Sitting at freaking home in between the pandemics, during pandemic, pandemic, a bap, beta, it doesn't bother you. You're back with mommy's cooking. Hey, by the way, do your parents? Would... He's on mute. Thank God. No, this. Yeah, mommy's cooking is great. Mommy's cooking. No, is but great, tell me yes. one thing. Do, 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 honestly, tell us. Do the parents put pressure? I was wondering about this also because now you're you and I. We live in families with people. Amit is basically mom yeah. and him, so he can sort of the dynamic is in his control. But we uh, people come and go. What do they say? Uh, because initially, I used to get a lot of flack about where you're going, on my mother especially. Uh, what do they say about you when the fear factor starts mounting again? This is the third time we're having this fear factor psychosis. Yep, correct. Uh, she also starts. My, my mom starts saying that. Uh, Arey, kyun jata hai office? Itna uh, uh, Omicron chal raha hai. Omicron chal raha hai. Uh, ghar pe rahe. Paisa mat kamao. Uh, ba- ba- yeah, I mean, like I mean, that. This is typical. Like, work from oh, home kind of thing. Man. <laughs> it's just parents yeah. because my parents are like. My mom's already gotten COVID. My dad uh, had suspected COVID in the middle, like just a couple of weeks back. It wasn't that. He just had like a severe stomach infection. Uh, but basically, yeah. So the paranoia is still high, man, in the family. Is this what it is? Can't be happy. So, so I think if that's uh, let's say Silvery as a run of the mill employee, no, not in a bad way, but uh, let's say you know conventional employee, let's say. Uh, so that in every and and since we mostly live with families, except those who are migrants, and then they are, but even they might be living with paying guests with they live with roommates, yeah, place, roommates, roommates. Yeah. So it comes to the same thing. So they've got to answer to that as well. So we've got that yeah. problem. 
So I don't it's, know how many going to play it out in the end. I mean, hmm. it's open for people to come if they want to. Aray, I was telling home, everyone in the last week of December, just before that, people were asking me about the podcast and I was saying, you know, now January, I think there's going to be a real surge by us to try and, you know, go to the studio, at least for this cock and bull session. And the yeah. odd guests would yeah. come. I'm presuming there are also guests who are quite fearless. Um, and we would start with that and that would give us a certain amount of uh, change in in the show from just being on the comp. But now, now Amit, Amit is doing a... This is show, uh, by the way, I, I think he's telling them to stop podcast. construction work. No, no, no. Ours is the only podcast where people who, if they're affected by speech and can't hear, I don't want to use politically correct terms, they can also understand what's going on. From time to time, Amit explains the entire thing with his hands. And that's fabulous. <laughs> that's sensitivity. To, wow. I mean, so well milk of human kindness for me that we really think for everybody and everything. Honestly, yeah. that's that's fabulous. But okay, <laughs> I think we've exhausted this topic about Corona. It's not going anywhere anytime soon, yes. sadly. Can't believe it, guys. We two have... years. Yeah. Two years. Bolo? Yeah, so I have this topic which is Corona related, but very interesting and very inspirational in a way. Okay, uh, this is out of Trivandrum in Kerala, and uh, basically this man uh, by the name of Shafi Vikraman or Vikraman uh, has gotten a hundred and forty-five degrees in the lockdown during the pandemic. Wow. This person uh, got. Signed up for online courses, like 2020 online courses in one you, go, he would do. What kind of degrees okay. would that include? 145? I'm just thinking like yeah, bakery. That's what I'd like to certifications. Understand. These are not like uh, proper like two-year okay. degrees. These are diplomas. certifications. Diplomas. diplomas. Yeah. No, diplomas. They're, but, but they're not your diplomas. The they're certificates. Certifications. So this is, so I because, just start my own course and give you a certificate at the end no, of it. No, no, no. Uh, but these are like yeah. certifications from Yale and Columbia and Princeton and oh. university like that. Oh, that level. They have to be taken. But, they have a lot of, but the thing is like he's doing like two, two day courses, two two month courses. Those are That's the extent of the courses he was doing. But he that's was doing like 145 of these. Courses, Finance, uh, robotics, AI, psychology, F&B management. Robotics in two uh, days? Summer. Finance in two days? No, it must be two months. Which no, country? Two, two, two there's days there's a, there's that's the stretch. That's there's a, there's there's, a there's, period. There, there's, there are a lot of these seminars available, right? Uh, courses that you can take, which like uh, some of them are they run for six weeks, but they'll be like you know every weekend you have to take a session and you have to submit one assignment a week. So there are this right. It's possible. It's not un impossible, but it's insane. 148 in two years is kind of uh, I don't know what to make of that. Yeah, it's commendable, I would say. Uh, this person also no. gave up his like actual job. He was a, he had a job as a manager or something. I feel, and he gave that up to he, study. I feel that on the negative side, on the broadsheet, he's probably not that great a communicator and socially active person. Oh. Because I'm thinking <laughs> if you're spending your whole life just trying to get the next degree and the next degree, he's not really into oh, WhatsApp yeah. or, you know, Insta. Oh. Guys, I'm outside the railway station yeah. having a one up now. He's not doing yeah. any of that. Uh, and he's not doing what Amit does, devouring books he's, uh, or... Engineering websites, <laughs> which lonely men in Malabar <laughs> like him and me go to. So that's that's another yes. side. It's interesting that, but in a sense, I guess it's a positive energy that that's there in him. Like, wow, let me do something. It's a bit like yeah. when we spoke to Vijay Subramaniam yesterday. That uh -huh. Certain entrepreneurs, certain people, they just deal with adversity very well. I, I love to see the psychological side of that, where they don't ever take a back foot. It's like, okay, this is it. Let's do what we can. They have that side yeah. of mindset, which is really good. I really like that. So in a sense, yeah, you know, he picks that. it up and yeah. So he says, "I'll get 145, 148 degrees." And I don't know what he's going to do with it. But, and I, what but, about a degree in parking in traffic here in Mumbai? Wow, yeah. That take? So two, days to two months. This is yeah. this, this this is uh, so this is what I kind of uh, I I like again. You know, it's a, it's a, it's an achievement. I'm not trying to deny or not trying to denigrate the achievement. But isn't it the same as like degree chasing? Isn't it like symptomatic of like you know this whole. Uh, the, the the whole like you know obsession that uh, it's is like bodybuilding. There's uh, a vanity and narcissism factor clearly. Yeah, in it. I mean it, it is like, that right. But let's like, not degrade him because maybe he's not he a just criminal. likes to learn and study. Is, I mean, if these yeah, are your hobbies, I'm thinking yeah, let but, it be. We can't expect more from humanity. Come on. Sure. No, but I mean, I mean, like you know, we use this. Uh, we use this statement somewhat, uh, somewhat sarcastically, right? Certificate mil gaya na? Like somewhat, you know, you got the. You know, we we use this. We we say this somewhat sarcastically, fairly regularly. That hey, I have a certificate of this, or you know, I mean, like it's, it's it. it this he's, is like that. He's Sharma Ji's father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sharma Ji's son is still studying <laughs> like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's never stopped studying his entire life. Amazing. Yeah. But but I, I you know if, whatever makes you happy I suppose if that's what his thing yeah, that's his yeah. thing goes back to Victor Frankl's man's search for meaning you got to find your thing your thing is absurd to somebody else but if you really like your thing it just keeps you going 
it really is great to have something that you know just your engine starts running because of it you know yeah. so i mean i, I actually yeah, envy people it, like that but because... yeah no i don't know, know they... man i mean like you know if i let's say uh, again i don't know who this guy is i don't know anything about him right but I, to me i mean like uh this is I, I don't know man i i, I just find like this no, kind you of pursuit, an unreal right? meaning in life is for you it's an unreal meaning i get that but you're not you know yeah. you can't you can't empathize correctly with this guy because we can't we are this yeah. is an like eccentric side to a person but that eccentric side is a real side it's all a fake side so that eccentric side is feeding his need to feel good about himself his self validation and everything else so while it does that it's doing great more good than bad for him but for us it's just ludicrous after a point because what do you like, and we find out what the degrees are we wish we had the names i mean if it's how to put a ladder on a terrace or something is a degree i mean they could you'll be surprised at what they do I seven know. steps to a better you is not a friggin diploma i mean you know with do with do love and respect <laughs> to jordan peterson you know the moment i see the number on on the book thing i'm like really you bring it down to nine steps four steps two ways 16 ways to find your lover 43 ways to become a multimillionaire i mean come on if it was that simple what do we waste our time give me a book and just send my kid to read it in the library and he's done no more education no more anything else so but but look like i said in the times of pandemic people who have hobbies who have strong relations and connections with things whether it's the nba or cricket or your hairstyle or whatever and again you cannot belittle that person that person's connection is his own for us it's absurd yeah i i agree it's just i i wonder the utility of it right i mean like while i'm it's not stupid. Uh, it's frankly it, stupid it's take, yeah it's like taking a it's taking something which has utility getting certificate courses and something like that also, and turning to, to the absurd degree where it is now kind of turned into a uh, also, also I don't know, in a conversation get... you know in a conversation it sounds great okay 145 degrees because we uh, the middle classes that we are we are you know in our minds the degree is always like mba or double mba or mbbs or you know, those kind of things uh, iit engineering it's not that he's probably got one or two of those and the rest what was that Whoa. sorry sorry that's the landing of the next story land. and i've shared my mistake oh, great. the landing of the next uh, no 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 <laughs> oh okay <laughs> all right you nip a conversation the oldies are talking too much <laughs> oh he's just gone <laughs> take me <laughs> into the next <laughs> and he's just sorry you didn't be done i learned from the youngster okay fair enough <laughs> no, no, we you no. overdone the diploma which was your story not ours all right so what's this no no okay so this is basically uh... yeah now you got us curious now we want to know what's missing okay. yeah now we can't go back to our okay. 148 degrees sure 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 so uh This is a very cool and funny Sherwani ad that was okay, super funny. Okay, Atrish. Uh, uh, both Cyrus and I are going to read this shit out. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to read it. Yeah, yeah. So basically, this is a Sherwani ad that went viral. Okay, I'm going to read the entire ad, and it's just very yeah, yeah, funny yeah. and very quirky and very cool. Okay, so it says it's a missing persons report. Okay, the ad is in the in, in like a missing persons report, and it says okay, it. <laughs> tall, fair, and handsome, aged about twenty four years, missing. My dear son, Majnu. please come back home everyone is very upset we have accepted both your demands leila shall be your bride and the wedding sherwani will be purchased from sultan Super. the king of yeah. sherwani <laughs> however we shall go to their new uh, to, we should go to their new market, market branch since car parking facility is available there also for your recognition for your reception day we have decided that for the entire family and close friends all kurtas shall be purchased from sultan king of sherwani I love it. Ad. And there's an address there. Very nice. This is very very, nice. cozy, very okay. smart. It went uh, super viral. People have been talking about it a lot. Yeah. I, I have an issue with that. Like this I feel like I'm a down not on everything today but i have a go on, go on. Like be this. a downer. Because That's why we have a podcast. Are you saying no, because... are you saying it's a missing persons report that can be misconstrued? Yeah. It, no, okay. it's a, it, it devalues missing persons reports. because now missing people right missing children missing this are real important things right and when you parody that for advertising and for a cheap laugh i mean like let's be honest it's funny yeah. i'm not saying it's not <laughs> so so if it was an orbit like, you know, ad it was, it, it was an orbit ad for the same I have the something same... Yeah, I think oh, okay. I know, but an obituary so maybe you, not so, so much of a problem. So but you're the guy who stopped Munawar Farooqi from performing in a sense because you know you already am I really out. yeah because you're, you're you're telling us straight off that you know there are some things are sacred. we all now it brings us back to our big uh, well, grouse on cock and bull that we're basically on the side of free speech and then we're not because now we are no, being I sensitive to society. free speech i get what you're saying what you're saying is also absolutely right about being sensitive because when I mean, when you do lose a loved one and you have a missing ad it's going to hurt like hell to see sultan because you won't see any humor in it but what do you do 
you want a free speech world or not people react to this no, podcast no, no, for no, god's no, sake we're going mad here we're be... talking in circles and we're not on our i'm not saying this yeah. should be illegal though i'm not saying this should be illegal free speech is a legal have... illegal situation but i'm on, I, I i don't like the uh no, that's that's a, this point. is not the first you, time you don't like the creative you feel it's insensitive but you don't want it stopped i think i, I can live with that yeah. that's absolutely fair yeah. I, and i think you should be, have an opinion about these things you can't say oh it's good or not good or average average you got to have a strong opinion when you want to talk about these things so that's fine silvery what do you feel yeah. i think it's Are you... i think it's fine uh like anyone reading it in one go would understand that it's a joke uh, and it's meant for like it's a good marketing campaign man it's getting no, we're it, talking about it yeah but, but it's a very and... serious issue when you have a missing person I know, I know. for that fraternity Agreed. and god forbid you ever have it it's a terrible thing to do because you're hoping against hope and you know, i mean it's more now on insta and all that you'll be sending it but you know with dogs we do it with cats with, sometimes with people also yeah. so it, it is a painful time in a person's life and then for so sure, this for is sure. if you have a missing of, of, of child or something time. that's like, the worst of course yeah, yeah. and, and, and get, but, i'll, I'll just add one more i'll just add one happen. more thing over here i don't think this is original i've seen this before I know I've seen this before. Oh, no, no, that's original. a different argument. I mean, those things. No, this is Rico. No, no, no. So, uh, no, no. So, uh, the censorship is one issue. Creativity being copied and plagiarism is another issue altogether. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know. I, I just, I, I see. I, I've seen this before, so I think that one is a ripoff. Two, I didn't like it the first time. I don't like it the second time. Again, nothing should be illegal. This should be absolutely fine for them to do from a legal perspective. But this feels just cozy. I don't know. I I really like it. I, I'm sorry to say. I really uh, yeah. found it like I just I just laugh genuinely. It made me smile. So my rule for anything that's funny is that if you laugh genuinely, even if you're embarrassed that you laughed, that's fine because there's all kinds of things in your consciousness. But I laugh. So that's the that's the, with a comedian or with a comic show or whatever. It's always that for me. Did you laugh? Don't tell me how infantile it was, how stupid it is, how ludicrous. But if it's a copy, then that's not good because the, because that happens on the internet all the time. I mean, uh, Kunal, Silvery, just to name a couple, always copying yeah. other comics. You know, always taking. Yeah. Allow me, and, allow and, me to and, share this to you guys. Uh, this is you just found a it? book. No, I didn't even have to look very hard. Oh my god! Uh, That's so, scary, Silvery. Sultan sucks up here, apparently. Yeah, Sultan just so, copies. Yeah, that. Oh, as the yeah. Australians say. Okay. In yeah. a memorable song, the Sultan. So each and every one of these is a joke. Oh, oh, okay. So which right. is the foreign each, one? Uh, all, all of them okay, are jokes. Okay. I mean, like there are I some Indian, there are some the foreign. Normal, but Lionel Richie. I can see one with the Lionel Richie. Lionel yeah. Richie like person. You'll get sued. Hello, is it me a, you're looking uh, for? So I, I, uh, again, okay, you know, it. it's him. these are him. <laughs> yeah, so. So okay, so I guess I don't have a problem with a single ad. I have a problem with this genre of ads. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, that's fair. But in the entire hierarchy of what's going wrong with the world with COVID. with the uh, communalism casteism the polarizing of humanity droughts in certain parts cannibalism also i am told extortion uh, pollution uh, global warming i'm going to put this category of ads a little Fairly lower low. Fairly low, fairly low. Well, yeah, uh, again, I don't. I'm not saying it should be banned. I'm not saying I have a huge issue with it. I'm not saying that fuck Sultan. I'm not saying any of that. I'm just like yes, ah. No, I think you're, you. Uh, we should always have a right to not like something. <laughs> why, why not? Yeah. But you're right. As long as you don't ban it, because that's the difference. Banning is the thing. Like, no, you shall be shot. You shall be shot is is the fascism that you want to avoid, because then freedom of expression is killed. So you want freedom of expression, you have the right to express yourself about not liking the expression. I spent my whole life uh, fending off. I'm on the back foot at home and with my friends and family growing up, because they always tell me to shut up, keep quiet. You're talking rubbish. Stop talking. I've spent my whole life like that. You know, so freedom of expression yeah. is very important yeah, on a you, personal level to me. My my sister used to tell me freedom. all the time in the car, "I put the, the dad's put the AC on now. You can't talk because it's too loud." Literally, this is what she used to tell me. <laughs> and, and all I do is I make money by talking. I just I just no other way, no other way to earn money. How mean! No, but she's a lovely girl, and she's an American. She listens to this, and those days are gone. That was the old Fiat. Uh, poor Silvery will have no memory of that. Do you have any memory of the old Padmini Fiat? I mean, yeah, I sat in the Fiat. I sat in the Ambassador. Also, so. uh, my dad had to be very good. I felt when we first yeah. got it. How I'm sat. It? So my dad had, had a government, government job, right? Bro. My dad had a government job, ah, so okay. they used yeah, to but, use the but, Ambassador but, but, for a while, a while. Uh, in the nine, uh, you were born in two, 1980 something, right? 92. 92. So where's 92. the ambassador by 95, 96? There wouldn't be anything on the I mean, road. I mean, dude, in 2000s they were still using ambassadors. Uh, taxi was still ambassadors. Those guys who kept them, yeah. In Delhi, they kept them a little while longer. Mumbai. Yeah, I is think government so kept them for a while. Yeah, yeah. You know, I remember clearly. I have government. They uh, did. Hyderabad estate is right next no. to me. 
I have a lot of friends. Sure, I, I, I think I remember. Look, I, I remember sorry. seeing them after I came back no, to no, India no. as well, right? I mean, like in some. No, uh, no, I have friends who live in India. Yeah, 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 not like all over the place. What a Kadar ambassador. Oh, I, know, I do it in my stand up all the time because people who come for our kind of shows at my age, they all have fond memories. You got to <laughs> yeah, press and you got to yeah. drive it to get that empathy. You press the brake in Malba Hill, it stops at Marine Drive. It used to be like that. <laughs> yeah. you know, great fun. And and gear shift uh, also. The side gear shift. Be, oh, God. She wouldn't be able to put in gear. You need to be muscular and yeah. strong to do that. It would, that sound so would I, come of being in the wrong gear, you know. <laughs> Yeah. I heard a. Uh, I was listening to the Conan O'Brien podcast with Adam McKay, the guy who directed The Big Short and this new uh, Netflix movie. And Don't and look stuff, right. Yeah, and okay. he did. Yeah, he described a story which happened like the exact same story happened to my cousin and ambassador when we were all sitting in it. There were like eight of us or nine of us sitting inside an ambassador car. We were we had gone to NCPA had a hotel called a uh, restaurant called Rangoli at that time. So we had all gone to Rangoli for dinner. And then after we came out from Rangoli, we were my mama was in in his ambassador. He, he had picked up my family. His full family was there. And one of my, one or two of my other cousins were there. My cousin, Molik, was a young kid sitting on the passenger side on somebody's lap. Like, you know, like, so I think my Masa or somebody, somebody's lap he was sitting on, right? Hmm. My mama was trying to find his way around NCPA. I don't know if you remember, but earlier it used it used to be impossible to figure out how to get out of it. Well, the parking lot was yeah. huge. There it were all these different made. kind of turns. Yeah. Yeah. So you couldn't figure out how. So, so he's driving around. Which entry was always a problem. Yeah. Right. So he's driving around trying to figure out how to kind of move around. And he takes a really sharp left turn at one point. The door of the ambassador opens up. My cousin oh. was on the thing, right? So he was like basically holding up and looking out like this. And so the door opens. He's hanging on the door outside as we're going around the uh, <laughs> uh, as we're going around the parking lot, and then uh, basically my the person Indian, who's sitting over there <laughs> pulls the door closed and he comes right back what on the lap. It will, it will oh, be, that's exactly what he called it. We called it the Indian merry-go-round. Wow, <laughs> nothing happened, so it's it's fine. But he, oh my God, that's a horrible story. If a kid yeah. was flying out of the car, but you took the turn. I know it was crazy. Just that's the thing. He was today's cars you lock on their own. Yeah, they lock well, on yeah, their own within 13 true, seconds normally. Do. But we didn't do. see do. this is the different silvery. I love doing this when when I get a crowd to talk about because you know they just you don't understand how hard it was for us. My father, the way we <laughs> yeah. were trained, I think Amit would have had the same uh, training. Although Parsis are much worse. You park the car. You to, uh, put all the windows up yourself as the driver. Okay, that means correct, you go, correct, because yeah. you have to do it manually. Then you go outside yeah. the car and you touch the tip of each uh, thing to see the window is shut fully so that no one can steal your bloody cheap fiat because somebody and will then pull you have to the check window down. It's a 50 paisa yeah. coin. He had, he yeah, had it all planned out. He was yeah. standing outside a building with a 50 paisa coin saying, Brocha ki gaadi aa gaya, toh bhai chori karega. 100 percent tak, prunk, plonk. So we did, did yeah. all this shit. So parking was yeah, yeah. also you had to that. lock the door from the inside before getting out of the car. From the inside and yeah. after, exactly. You know, I, and then check outside. And then you know, to get into this yeah. generation, we do click and walk away. And my workout partner, he just clicks his jeep and walks away. I still check. And I'm thinking, well, look at the difference. This small yeah. stuff, but I still I can't get it out of that security thing. You know, I gotta check. And he he doesn't look back. I'm sure you guys do that. Do you, you, you don't look back. You, you flick it like a star, no, like Schwarzenegger in a movie or something, and boom, it shuts. I'm like, how can you do so, that? I told him, let's go look at it. Look at it properly. Check. Yeah. Check so this new car I have is the first time I have a remote control lock. Before this, I never had that remote control locking. And so before, I, oh, so in the so in the previous cars, I would do that, right? I'd lock, I'd check the... So what I do is I check the driver door and I check the left side, ba sorry, the back door behind me, right? And if both of them are locked, then I'm sure that it's locked. But I did do that in the uh, the the cars that I had previously, which all had like the automatic door locking, but not the remote control. So then my daughter psychologically destroys me with the same situation because the other thing you do is you're not short sure locked, so you press it again. No. Was yeah. that a lock or not a lock? So I yes. press it, and then and then she says that if you press again, it unlocks. Huh? <laughs> so I go for a manual check again. You know, how vicious these kids are. And if she had to lock the for whatever reason, I'm going somewhere physically and she has to take the key up and go on her own or whatever. I mean, it's the same thing, you know, bang, poop, and gone. We're really confident. I could never do that. I, I feel I feel like I'm chained, you know. So sad. This is the difference between the 80s and the 90s and, and today's. I mean, you can just see these small things. The times when rolled down the windows actually meant something. Yes, Rachit, you are absolutely right. Yeah. 
there was there were, you could just instructions in a car in the 90s would take you through sort of you know a social interaction because you'd have to talk about the windows the doors are you locked don't sit near the door are you shorts locked all this would happen now what you get in the car boom it's over that's it pump up the jam man pump up the jam <laughs> you, you know that it? song silvery uh yeah I, I don't know that song no. pump up the jam yes i don't i do you not you know this song for. I I I How many notes in 90s? No, but Pump Up the Jam is 80s, dude. It was in school. Yeah, 80s, 90s. Come on, whatever. You know what I mean? The late 80s, early 90s, whatever we were in college, one of those. Yeah. yeah. 80, uh, when did you guys start seeing? Called. When did you guys start seeing traffic, traffic in Bombay, like proper traffic? No, that becomes more oh, when you're really? driving. I think until until the time I actually yeah. was driving, or then it becomes an issue for you more. When my dad, there was much less traffic. I, I, I mean, 90s. Did we really suffer that much? I don't remember. No, no, it's always been an issue. I, I remember when I first. Uh, so my mom's family is from Sion, right? And uh, we oh, used to yeah, have this. We used to go up yeah, yeah. and down to. We used to go up and down to Sion. It would take us an. It would take 80 minutes to go because this was. before you could use the road uh, like you know you could use the back road to get there the, the road that we use now is the main road right you had to Don't go through kid, like the other you have no idea i mean how do you explain yeah. it uh, the glory of lbs yeah. no, mark but, for example we had to go to ghat cooper a few times because my wife's yeah. family had a small house there and that lbs mark was like you know i mean yeah. you took your map and you held your balls in your hands <laughs> and you hoped for the best <laughs> oh my god don't remind me when yeah, she said no, we going to uh, ghat cooper i'd be like oh Christ, oh. yeah. and now it's a breeze. Went yeah. there for now, some. Now it's super fast. Small, the other day, boom. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, hey guys, it's uh, 37 now. minutes of show. Let's Don't we take a break? Take a break. break. And do we yeah. have our organized break this uh, day as well? We do. We do. Yes, we do. We do. Presenting. We do. The break. Hey, it's been another great week on the IBM Podcast Network. On this year end special Think Fast, Varun and Suchita give their predictions on what lies ahead for the world of business and startups in 2022. We have Manjima Chatterjee with us on audio gyan. She is a drama explorer and educator. Kedar and Manjima talk about the new education policy, Bengali plays, and a whole lot more. On a cock and bull episode of Cyrus Says, Antrikshan and I join Cyrus to discuss New Year resolutions, no restaurant food for cops, and COVID self tests. On all things policy, the Takshashila folk discuss major events and trends in the tech policy space and their expectations for 2022. On Simplified, the gang looks back at how the last 12 months have passed for them personally. Do follow us on social media where IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. If you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter, do tell a friend. The word of mouth absolutely is essential to us. Don't forget to rate us on any of the platforms that you've been listening to, and also I'd like to ask everybody to check us out on YouTube. We have a number of channels going. You can find all of them on ivmpodcast.com/slash/youtube. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors this week: Cred, Bank of Baroda, Coinswitch, Kuber, and Intel. Thank you so much for making this possible. What I find particularly appealing in Amit's voice, it's almost soft porn. <laughs> gentle but not offensive if you just shut your eyes and listen it's got the texture where he's been really nice he's the first step to you now becoming an active tinder member and participant because you know he's luring it, you into it but but it doesn't cross a line where i feel some depravity or you know some prejudice coming through or you know some sort of you know fetishes and all it's not in that area it's just clearly i'm slightly randy but there's nothing wrong with that and i'm just gently exercising my right to have a shower alone or maybe with you i i get i get that's the space um <laughs> Anyone gets a voice? I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, you, you this, this is genuine reaction. <laughs> What's in formal? Let me tell you, it's the American accent, which I also because you're making an effort to tone it down, so it's unique because of that. And secondly, because it's a soft and gentle way of talking, which is so rare. L- listen to me, I'm always like a hundred miles per hour. Silvery's got his own issues, so it's a very rare voice in podcast radio medium. Who talks gently anymore? I'm trying to think back to Amin yeah. Sayani, and when I was very young on radio, where they would have a very gentle way of talking. Uh, so the it's... Hindi guys. Hindi guys have that because they come from Lucknow and all that, yeah. and I've worked with some of them. They have that nice way of speaking, very Tamizy and sweet, and always like. But other than that, in English for sure, everybody's loud. No, but uh, so I, I mean, if you're not radio, loud, you're right? Not... I, yeah, I, I think that's a, that's a format uh, limitation, right? I think like mm-hmm. uh, like if you listen to Rishi K, right? You listen to him when he's doing music, or so you listen to him doing an interview, right? And there's a difference in how his tonality comes out when he's introducing music and stuff like that. Is peppy, peppy, peppy all the way up, and right? But when he's doing an interview, well, he more... explained that to us on the podcast. He said that basically it's because uh, before food and after food, ah, voice changes completely and mood. <laughs> yeah. That's not in your case. See that? <laughs> yeah. So, but I, I, I'm not joking. I think you can have a career in voiceovers. 
because it's, I, I what do you think to silvery jokes about it is quite unique right the sound exactly yeah the great trade tail voice also like uh, good for trailers and all i think it would be trailer and it's a comforting voice it's comforting presence amit for headspace so good for ads know? is what i say <laughs> Okay. Mm, yep, okay. Yep. 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 Like lifestyle ads and all awesome. that would be great for. Like a great voice for lifestyle ads. So, correct. Correct. Uh, yeah, Amit, yeah, while your office is sort of in a coma once again with all this going on, you can use it to do uh, sort of pilots for yourself. Just take ten big brands and do the ads in your voice, and just send it to them and say, right, guys, check that. this out as well. All the right post reads that you guys eventually do, I send the first copy in my voice. Well, now it'll be the last copy. The first yes. copy no, no, will be the last. Copy. Continue to be the first. Hmm? Continue to be the first copy. This is because again, the world's laziest uh, actor gave us the same philosophy when uh, poor Gopal came from NSD, full of beans, uh, wanting to perform. And Gopal said, uh, "Kunal, can we do one more take?" And Kunal said, "Your first take is your last take." <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? Ask Gopal. You need to get him to talk about Kunal when he's had two drinks. It's just so funny. He was, he was like, "What? He comes from NSD with everybody so eager to perform and all that. First take is your last take." <laughs> Yeah, Sorry. I can see Kunal so, saying that though. We haven't uh, we haven't talked about Modi ji in a couple of days. There is this very interesting thing that is going on about uh, Modi ji in his visit to Punjab. He got uh, basically yeah, stuck in a traffic jam. Yeah, no, uh, uh, on, a, on no. a flyover. Hmm. Yeah, on a yeah. flyover. Basically, what happened was uh, there were some protesters on the flyover or just off the flyover because of which the jam happened, and then BJP started calling it. It's been a security breach. The big, uh, the Punjab government, the Congress government, has basically uh, taken this allowed it this to happen. To, yeah, 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 allowed to happen uh, to basically possibly physically harm the prime minister. Yeah, this is what he made this that the line about his life or something. Life or something. Now, what is the exact line? What is the quote? Uh, he, he said something exactly. like sarcastic. Quote it. It's quite funny. Yeah. Okay, I will find it. I want to thank the chief minister that, no? for not losing my life or something. Just, just, just see. Oh, oh, go on, go on. Sorry, that's, Your, that's great. Go on. Yeah. So this happened. The Modi, uh, the BJP, and uh, Congress are having like a a word, a sparring, a spar of words right now, where the Congress is saying, "No, no, you guys changed your route. So that's why the the route that you was originally planned was already secured. So you guys changed your route, and now you can't beat politics. Here, we can't help it. <laughs> yeah, best yeah. in comedy. Uh, yeah. Can I? Uh, and then uh, yeah, you know that, one thing that thing is happening. Right. Yeah. Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, you know, so no, after that, you know, another thing has happened. Finish. Another thing happened after that is. Uh, the general secretary of the BJP, his name is uh, C T Ravi. Gen, Gen okay? Sec. Yeah, oh. uh, Gen Sec of the uh, of the BJP. He tweeted another another one of those BJP politicians tweeting, "Uh, देश के गद्दारों को गोली मारो सालों को like similar words. Basically, he's just saying कि गोली मारो उन गद्दारों को, saying कि protesters again should be shot and whatever, or Congress people should be shot. Just again one of those rhetorics come up." It is immediate for BJP politicians, seem like. So let's just say thing. freedom of expression, not really or his cup of tea, uh, the Gen Z, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, not. But really. uh, I, 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 if you can get that uh, satirical sort of uh, piece of, it's quite funny the line he used. I mean, translate into English. I'll just find it. Uh, yeah, I mean, you were uh, wanting to jump in. Yes, yeah, so I was just. Uh, it was not so much about Deshke Kadar, okay, but it was more about the driving situation, which uh, and something I found out over this last few days, which I didn't know. Did you know that presidents and vice presidents of America are not allowed to drive ever again in the future? Themselves? Themselves? Why? I I, I just found this out. Uh, so apparently, for security reasons, they're not allowed to drive on public roads. So uh, there, the Jay Leno has they're given yeah, so bodyguards for life anyway. Oh. Yeah, so they're given bodyguards for life. So they're not allowed to drive cars themselves. The bodyguards have to drive them everywhere. Wow. I uh, so so they're going to show like Jay Leno's car show or did you, Seinfeld's did you, car show. Jay Leno's. Yeah. So exactly, on the, I saw it on. I heard about this on Jay Leno's garage only, right? So uh, George right. W. Bush picked Jay Leno up in a uh, Ford uh, in a pickup truck, but he is only allowed to drive in his own private property. He cannot take the car onto a physical road. When wow. Joe Same Biden, comedians in cars Leno's also, car, right? Yeah. Same with yeah. comedians can't Obama get coffee when Obama was yeah, yeah. in Obama, yeah. Had, correct, correct, correct. yeah, they had to drive it in within the desk. But the, what, what uh, so if you're president and that's the rule, I can still understand that to some degree, but I can't believe that ex-presidents are not allowed to drive. That's the one that really kind of got me surprised. Uh, Donald Trump doesn't know how to drive. That's probably true. He's from New York. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of His people hands are too small. New York don't. Uh, uh, that hands are too small. Couldn't <laughs> clutch the wheel. So, <laughs> that so too, Oliver maybe. Stone. Uh, director Oliver Stone was just on Joe Rogan's podcast talking about the JFK assassination. 
and uh, wow conspiracy uh, means yeah. conspiracy means conspiracy for square sure. Oh, I sure. thought you were, you were going to do a bad joke major... here saying that JFK should have been driving. Ugh, sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the, the, actually, funnily enough, the JFK assassination is the impetus for this rule to come into play. Not that oh. he was driving at that I, I time. I was thinking that. But, I was thinking exactly that. Yeah. But when oh, the, it was nine miles uh, per hour, the way the uh, cavalcade was going. So you give you a little time to have a shot. Yeah. I mean, you still have to be well, good with a gun, but yeah. No, no. If it's faster, the chances are. No, today with laser technology, I have no idea. They just put a dot on you and boom, it's like that. So be careful. Don't keep your windows open. On this podcast, upsets a few people. Be yeah, very careful. Right. See a red light, duck immediately. Yeah, yeah. But you need they to be way more careful window. than that. Yeah. No, I have no windows. Yeah. <laughs> the oh, windows I had, we have had to grill shut because of the robbery. And the guy got nothing. He was so upset with my career going nowhere. He let me a note. All my life threw away. <laughs> <laughs> This yeah. is interesting. Oh, uh, AMAs? Yeah. Around, this, around, Jain, no, no, around the same yeah. driving thing. Uh, go ahead, Antrish. Okay, yeah, no. Ratchet Jain has just said something. He says, uh, Shigeru Miyamoto created some of the f- most famous video games in history, but Nintendo won't allow him to ride his bike to work. The company said he's too important to risk getting injured on a bike. Wow. Oh. That's yeah, but this, I buy, that, those clauses. This, this is like a footballer. You don't want him running around, you know, yeah, if he's yeah. messy or something, you worry about his feet and his body and all that. Uh, or yeah. in the case of pastry models, their chest. Um, so, you know, and and jokes apart, they've all been well, insured just... as huge premiums simply simply because they're, you know, the breadwinner for an industry. So, well, yeah, what do you say, Amit? This is something that's actually, I've, I've actually, you know, so this actually happened in the NBA, right? So there was a uh, draft pick called Jay Williams for the Chicago Bulls. He was the number two pick in the draft at that time. So, like, you know, really anticipated rookie. Um, he Jordan got into... Back to the NBA, Silvery. No, but he got into uh, so he got into a motorcycle accident. His career was over. He, oh, he got like into a motorcycle really bad. really bad. Got into a motorcycle accident, uh, destroyed his knee. Career is over. So I can understand why people have these kinds of rules. I guess I mean, some uh, it makes I mean, sense. Yeah, Hollywood has the guys riding a bike. He wanted a bike and all that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, all. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Silvery is yeah. gone. We're we're okay. He's there. Uh, no, I'm just saying, as a father, also bike is a little different. Although I love bikes. And, you know, but to make a loved one ride a bike or in the case of a financial loved one whose impetus is important for your career and life, these things are also in the same category because you'll be yeah. sweating buckets. That's also the way we see yeah. them ride here. Uh, Mr. Doshi, look at the way they ride their bikes here. I mean, you, you, I, know. I, God, I don't know how they survive. So, my mom has been cool with pretty much anything I've ever wanted to do Except in life. Bikes, bikes yeah. been an absolute no, no. Absolutely. Even no. bike like, sec- not even. She a- said you want to be a bike sexual, that's fine, but not bike. I remember exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Silvery, what about you? What does mom say? Same. Mom wants beta at home. Absolutely no Thank bikes. You. My parents are totally against uh, two wheelers of any kind. The what super unsafe man in Bombay. Is, rider? Uh, uh, I mean, that would be very disappointing. Mommy, right? milk, yeah, <laughs> swiggy. Huh? Very, very disappointing <laughs> in <me> life. <laughs> uh, but okay. Yeah. Uh, d- dignity of work, I guess. Uh, to some, yes. I don't so, what can we preserve of ours? Uh, like, you know, I mean, in this case, uh, the, his mind is important, so he shouldn't follow the bike because the whole industry relies on his brilliance for the next video game, etc. In my case, it's my stupidity. So you should also make sure I don't ride a bike. I'm gonna get intelligent if I have a bang or something. <laughs> 149 degrees on the weekend. <laughs> How to bake a cake using only your anus? You know, one of those. Because I, I'm just I'm dying to see what that guy has achieved in terms of different degrees and diplomas. So interesting. Yeah. Because there are things out there on the net. The net is lovely that way. There's just some ridiculously stupid stuff like this show. Okay, yeah. should we get some? Sure, absolutely. Say thank you that I was able to return to Batinda Airport alive to your CM. Oh, yeah. So wow, yeah, I nice. like this actually. When the politicians do this kind of banter, I'm happy. Yeah. You know, I, I wish they could keep it there instead of getting their religiosity and all that rubbish into it, where it starts yeah. becoming, you know, really polarizing. This, especially in uh, since English is our first language in British Parliament, when they talk sometimes, it's great fun, the banter. And I'm sure in different cultures there is that. Yep. And then the line crosses into just abuse and, and people die as a consequence of your stupid conversations, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. This is good for me. Uh, they should keep it that way. And, and deep down, you might even think it's a little mischievous on the Congress's part. Encourage them. Or, go, or, go, bitch, go, 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 go. And next thing you know, there is a jam. It's not impossible in our country. It is not impossible I mean, in our yeah, country right. to be as, as petty as this, possible. This, what you're describing right now is a plot point from West Wing. 
where basically Martin Sheen as the president and uh, yeah. the person who is supposed to be fighting the election against him, Josh Brolin, uh, yeah. is uh, he's supposed to come to, uh, they're both supposed to meet at a, uh, what do you call it, at, at a play in the evening, which was being done by like some religious organization. But what Martin Short does is he makes a trip, which basically screws up all of the traffic for this guy, uh, for, for his opponent to come. So his opponent comes late for the play. So it's a plot point over there, the idea that let's use traffic to fuck people up. So now this is all fair in politics and war sort of thing. It's a little different from <laughs> actual devious acts which cause, you know, corrupt practices to, you know, fast forward, etc. But again, it is, I don't know, I'm okay. It's like sledging. I think as, it, within limits, it's fun. It's always fun. <laughs> Yeah, yes, Rishabh Pant was going on after the Van Dus and the South African batsman who was batting towards the end, who was sledging him at short leg. And he was saying things in English. Um, okay, boys, okay, boys, okay, lads. He's uh, taken in the team only for sledging. Or could calm nahi karte wo. <laughs> things like that. That's fine. <laughs> that kind of banter. You know, the guy's anyway got like, you're not a great average, and so his confidence is not that great. And he's hearing this chipping from the back. What do you say, Amit? That's fun, no? I, 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 good fun. I, I, I love trash talk. I love like sledging. I yeah. love all of that <laughs> stuff, right? I mean, uh, he's selected yeah. for sledging. That's <laughs> really funny. <laughs> <laughs> can't bad, can't bowl. Sledge. Okay, let's take them. Let's yes. Take them. Come on. Yes. All right, Amis. The first one comes in from Rohan Jacob. He says, Do you guys watch sorry, sorry to talk about it? He says, uh, do you guys watch Shark Tank India? It's a great show, and I don't understand the hate it's getting on social media. We have an issue when something must be like hello happen. friends, yeah. These shows you have to be careful when you duplicate it. Right? Hmm. Because the personality of those guys is so important and I don't know. I, we haven't watched this. So how do we give a take on it? But I can see yes. the the not liking the Desi version because the person who watches that is watching this and they are aligned to that. So, so I think the problem, problem is that, right? The, the people who are talking shit about this, right? Are the people who are watching Shark Tank US or watching the Dragon's Den or something like that. Whereas Shark Tank India has been built for a much massier audience, a much wider Correct. audience, right? Don't and look the, at that. Yeah, exactly. But the, see, here's the other thing, right? I love, uh, I, I really admire some of these people there, right? Apparently, maybe not the Bharat Pay guy. I don't know if you guys saw this, but uh, the the guy who is there from Bharat Pay, a recording of his came out today in the morning that uh, where he is talking to his relationship manager from Kotak Bank and uh, abusing the fuck out of him and threatening to kill him, essentially, uh, for not getting him uh, allotment of a particular share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, and not Kodak so. Kodak has been so like, friends of this podcast. How dare he? Don't you dare abuse Kodak. Uh, we'll send somebody but, but to again, house. But, but some of the other people who are on Shark Tank India, right? I admire what they do, right? The guy who founded uh, uh, Anupam Mittal's on that show. Then uh, oh, uh, Sugar Anupam. Cosmetics. Um, uh, Vinita is on that show. She's really uh, great. I, and so, I mean, I admire some of these people, right? And uh, this is not the best look for them. It's just not. Uh, uh, because again, see, the, it, it, they're speaking in a non-native language. So, sorry, so just imagine. That. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they're, they're English speaking, they're, and better than the you know, Hindi speaking. They're all speaking. All that, yeah, okay. They're all speaking Hindi in American accents and telling people, yeah, yeah. telling stuff to people who so are creating a chasm. It's that whole, case, yeah. That. It's that whole, yeah, like yeah, you know, Pardesh really style. Uh, you know, the a, Westernized foreigner. Yeah. yeah, the Westernized Hindi worked on a music channel doesn't work on this because the DC guy is not getting uh, feeling non-aligned to you in any case. Yeah, I get that. But then why? I don't, what 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 are you saying? You should be more son of the soil, hardcore guy coming up, and they are I, billionaires I, like I, that. I know, the Paytm know, guy, I, for example. But yeah, maybe it's not, maybe someone like that. I don't know. I honestly, I don't know what the answer is over here because again, it is there is a difference in uh, the I mean, ways that people speak. Yeah, you can I, I would. That show. Would definitely come across as like you know this uh, stereotypical American twang. Villain. Yeah, yeah. Hi, friends. Aaj hum log paisa banate hain, haath pakre and shout. Yeah, but but I think it's really unfair with this whole uh, com comparing thing. You know, um, the going back to hello friends and all that. You can't you can't watch American sensibilities. They are different. The way they present things are very different. The yeah. quality sometimes of what we do is just not up to that mark because you're trying to. Uh, actually spin off a copy they have to localize things and, and then they look totally different spinning off copies yeah. mm, sometimes can really not work in your benefit and if it's the same market watching both i mean kevin o'leary's at 
eight years or seven years, my kids love him, love him. For example, the generation after Silvery, they, they've grown up on this guy and these guys, and they like some of them. They're Mark Cuban, for example, big fans. So then they've got that. Now you, how do you push that away? It's the same yeah. thing with the EPL versus the Indian football. So now you put the EPL out. So the elite kids, the ones who are raised on La Liga and EPL and all that, they cannot dumb down so much for yeah. ISL, you know, in a sense. Hate to use the phrase, but it's that problem. Yeah. I mean, he's crying I, because Klopp uh, has got COVID, but he doesn't care anything about the the, the Indian uh, scenario, which is a little sad. But what yeah. to do? No, I, again, the thing is that I, I think that it's a good idea to promote entrepreneurship in India, right? Again, I think these are all, uh, most of them are really good at entrepreneurship kind of stuff. They're so that good they pass the test. All that, they're good, right? But I just, I don't know, man. It feels... Uh, I, I, I'm not loving it. Let me just put it that way, right? I, I, Why don't we get I, one I of them onto like... our podcast as a serial sponsor for many of the uh -huh. shows and uh, we then allow them to really speak their mind and we promote them in the way where they can be promoted, where they, you know, what you see is what you get really and, you know, the guy will come across better. I'll call well, Anupam Mithari, he's a friend on. of mine as well. And, yeah, okay. and we'll, you know... So, call him, ask him to come on. Ask Anupam. Show. Yeah, ask him to come on. Or what is the show that Anupam Kher used to do? What was that called? Uh, Can you catch that? Yeah. What was it? Uh, Anupam Kher or Daddy. Farooq Sheikh? Are you thinking of the Farooq Sheikh one? No, no. Farooq Sheikh that, was, uh, did that Gina Asika yeah. Naam or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is well, your life. Your, your life, end of your life thing or whatever. That oh, was. yeah. That, uh, uh, Gina Asika Naam? No. What? Yeah, uh, Gina Farooq Asika Naam, I think. That's Farooq. what it was called. Life mein aisa hi hota hai, something, no? Life mein aisa hota hai, something. Uh, so that's his play. Uh, bhi ho sakta hai. No, but, the same uh, show he had talk show also of the same name, of the play name. No, the play. Ask Anupam, please ask Anupam Uncle. Oh, uh, say na something to Anupam Paisa, Uncle. Paisa, Paisa, Paisa. Tarun Kaushik is quick to, we need him on the show all the time to save us. He's our Google. Yeah. 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 Say to Anupam Uncle, the kids one. Say na something to Anupam Uncle. That's it. Yeah, yeah. That's ah, what I'm saying. Okay. Rohit yeah. Sharma. No, no, I got it. And Rohit Sharma also. You got it, beta. You win the prize. The prize is you get a voiceover delivered at home at 10 in the night from Amit saying good night. <laughs> <laughs> Amit sounding like a bitch. I really like the voice. I, no, no, that's not right, like dude. I, I mean, like, I guess yeah. I'm going to have to deal with this every week now. <laughs> it's a good like, voice. Uh, Everybody likes it. We've not got one person saying, I don't like your voice, which is on this format. Fantastic. Really. Uh, move next one. Yes. Guess what comes in from Girish Patel. Uh, he says, on the anniversary of the Capitol riot, do you think Trump is the worst president of the USA? And who is the second worst in that case? Let the American answer this. Because, you know, I mean, you're talking about worst yeah. personality, worst president. Let me look at policies. You have to be specific. Um, worst presentation of a president in a presidential avatar, I would say 100%. But I don't know about worst president. But you look at the I, I... performance in four years of the country. Yeah. Worst modern president, right? I mean, like anything post World War II, you could probably say yes. Uh, but worst president, Lyndon B. Some, huh? Lyndon B. Lyndon B. Johnson. Well, Lyndon B. Johnson. I mean, like he had his issues, but I would still say that uh, Vietnam. He's, uh, uh, so Vietnam, yes, Nixon but also civil rights. Up, right? Richard Nixon. Nixon. Not a very bad one. Richard, so uh, so uh, Watergate. Uh, so I mean, like. Yeah, so here's the thing, right? Watergate, if you consider Watergate compared to some of the Trump scandals, it's like nothing. Oh. It, it really is. It's, it, it's oh, nothing sure. compared to Trump scandals, right? So, I mean, the American I, has spoken. I, George I, I, I don't know. Then. Modern president started so many huh? wars. So George started wars. That's the thing, right? That, 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 yeah. That's one this. But at the same time, uh, uh, he had some good moments too. So, I mean, like, you know, I I, I don't know. I think it's too close. I mean, to the way he dodged that slipper, that he dodged that shoe was epic, I have yeah, to say. Yeah. That yeah, was yeah. very... The, like, uh, what? See, <laughs> so he, the thing is just this, right? I think that uh, presidents in America or prime ministers in India, right? They get too much credit and too much blame. Right in both cases, right? I, I Trump. Um, while we can talk all the shit about in the world about Trump, we can. We, then we also have to kind of give him credit for the fact that uh, vaccine out in a year. Right, he pushed it hard. He made sure that all of that got done. Right, so I mean, like, there are goods and there are bads. And I, I you know, I mean, like, I don't like the guy uh, on a. I, I just, I feel a visceral dislike of him. I don't know. For his no mask mandate, I gave him one point. But anyway, I'm so alone in my pointing out his good points that I'll just leave it there. Yeah. So let the Americans. No, speak. but that's just it, I mean, right. I, that, uh, 
Yeah. Also, keep in mind that the exposure of today's presidents is so much more. You could General Ford, you won't even know anything about them. You know, in terms of there was no internet, there was no up and down global global globalization yeah. media wise that we have now. So every fault can be looked at, replayed, you know, looped, all that. Um, you know, like poor Biden missing a step, for example, all over the world, 190 countries are watching it. And then everybody can make a joke. All yeah. late night hosts across different cultures are doing it. So uh, that, that's also there that there's you know, show of so much. Well, back yes. in the day, there's not that much. So we don't know. Like, so what I, is the sex I, I life of Indian politicians from the 60s and 70s? Only I know the answers to that, but I'm not yeah. allowed to share it. For uh, John F. Kennedy. I mean, like, if you're talking about, like, you know, yeah, some, uh, issues yeah. with personal life Candles. and stuff like that. Yeah, 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 John yeah, F. Kennedy, yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, personal they, life. You don't even know about the rest. Uh, Decision-making exactly. and all that. No, and of, so it's yeah. just, uh, there, there's so much more opacity then compared to now. Uh, and, and in some ways, we're suffering from over-analysis right now, right? Just There's just too much. Uh, too much. Too much info. Uh, too much information, right? So, uh, and, and too much analysis, right? So, what winds up happening is that if you're a journalist who has to write an analysis piece on what a particular government is doing, your job is let me come up with a fresh take, let me come up with a fresh way to express this, right? And there are only so many ways to express idea ABC, and so then you wind up seeing like a lot of clickbaity shit, right? Which is I don't know. I, I, I feel like it's a uh, Trump was an awful president, but I don't know if he's the worst president ever. And coming up with too much info, that's something this podcast can never be accused of. Thank God. Never. You know, frankly. And one definitely... talking bowl, we do one story. Sometimes two, if you're really lucky. Sometimes none. Hey, no point in advertising this. We don't do any promos for our show. This special, this edition of it at least. For God's sake. But with the guests, we can at least blame the guests, good or bad. Here we're, we're screwed. We have lots to talk about, actually not. 145 degrees is all I can remember <laughs> after one full hour. So let's take one or two last ones. Yeah. Uh, I think, Tarun Kosek uh, asked... should do... Uh, we should do yes, Jokic, uh, the Jokic question. I mean, like, one of the Jokic mm. questions. I don't know uh, what... Uh, Which well, question? Uh, oh, so, uh, there are a bunch okay, of people okay. who asked... Yeah, yeah, uh, there are a bunch of people who asked about Jokovic, right? I yeah, yeah, yeah correct, correct, correct. I did say Jokic. Uh, I meant Jokovic. Okay, okay. Uh, so, Jokovic, jo yeah. Jokovic. Yeah, so he's apparently not... Yeah. Uh, he's... What are your views on the well, whole? First day, first day, for him to come, and then Scott Morrison went and interfered and said, "There's you know, if he comes, uh, then you know we deport him because he's yeah. not uh, taking the virus." I'm really torn here because without Djokovic, there's no Aussie Open for me. But and I don't know, man. But this uh, Scott Morrison is trying to make a it's a populist thing, you know, that everyone is equal under the eyes of the law, which is so untrue. I'm sure there are not politicians across borders and all that. And they don't get a double check, or we don't even know about it. You know, so if I uh, if I understood this correctly, then actually what is happening right now is he's being singled out to be not proud, because from what yeah. my understanding of the Australian law is is uh, was or what I saw in the first Double article I read yesterday. Vaccine or no? No, 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 not uh, you. Have, if you've been infected in the last six months, then you are also allowed to come in without the vaccinations, right? Yeah. And he has been infected in the last six months. And that was the basis on which he was trying to, uh, on the basis of which he was... No, so they gave him the medical uh, thumbs up, huh. uh, the mandoli, if you want to call it. This is the association, Aussie so Tennis Association and him. Okay, they finally agreed to that because he, he's big bucks end of the day. You know, you got to sell bums on yeah. seats. You got people have to watch the show. Yeah. And he's number yeah. one. And with one or two, Federer injured, etc., etc. You know, you need Djokovic. Australian Open is his soil. He has the world record, etc. Now, Scott Morrison interferes. And uh, so here's a question of what what... Australian law is not very clear about is whether he's allowed that uh, ex what, what is the phrase for it uh, medical anomaly or whatever they have that they have that option so they exercise that option so if that option is uh, legal and allowed then he should have been allowed although we all know wink wink nudge nudge why it's allowed but Scott yeah. Morrison has come and interfered in populist what, what they think is a populist thing that bring the big gun down to show they're all are equal in the eyes of the law and what a great and just man I am I don't know I want to watch tennis I'm like who cares he just let him play as long as he can't infect anybody else. If you can prove that, which apparently the antibodies test can be done um, while he's sleeping, I presume he's not going to be too happy about that. But then again, we discussed this in, you know, I mean, why why the arrogance of not doing the test and I refuse to, it's the freedom of choice, blah, blah, blah. That's a whole nother story altogether. No, that, that, that's view, a different thing, right? Lose out. Yeah. If it's just about, hey, freedom of choice, I don't want to take the vaccine, then you don't want to take the vaccine, yeah. then so be it. You deal with the issues that come from that, right? But uh, if there is a rule which is being circumvented by the prime minister to let, uh, to specifically not allow him, that's also not cool. So I don't know. They made too much of an issue a, out of it. So it had to be, 
yeah. tabled in parliament you know one of loose I mean, like, australia when nothing much is happening it was like boom but let's see, go for this, this, this is- this is the problem with like i think how we treat laws even in india to a great extent right that uh not everything can be fixed on an individual basis right you, you, there's this uh, as a you know half lawyer i'm sure you've heard this statement right before right that uh, <laughs> yeah. bad ca- uh, sorry hard cases make for bad precedents right because the individual uh, items of these kinds of things or the individual uh, th- these things should be process driven they should not be driven by what is decided at one given point in time by certain period people right it should be these are we the rules all know, the if it was a world number 164 who played the qualifiers no one would have been the wiser and they had the same oh. medical anomaly which was allowed in blah 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 six months four months earlier so you just have to take the vaccine blah 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 it would just be water under the bridge by now done but because it's him it's, it's the whole issue is you know it's almost like a paradox of the fact that you're trying to make sure that no one's above the law but it's because he's so big that we're going after him also so in a sense you know what i'm saying anyway, is... i'm pro joko and I'm Scott Aryan, Morrison is you have you're making Aryan Khan parallels right now in your discussion, which I agree with. <laughs> okay, fair enough. There are right because like, yeah, no, you're going you're going after people for profile, right? I mean, like rather than going after pe- uh, people because of rules. It is I that. Agree. I mean, you can't deny that. It is that yeah, because I he's world number one. Now, world number one sixty four who just qualified is not going to be checked like this, yeah. all right? If, if he's giving you a medical certificate saying he doesn't have to take the vaccine because he's got antibodies, then that's good enough yeah. uh, because that's their law. He's, they they yeah. not circumvented the law. Okay. They wouldn't dare do that actually. But because of who he is, Scott Morrison puts his hand up and says, let's bring him down. I'm Scott Morrison, the most just since Moses. I told you, the greatest Morrison, Jim, not Scott. No comparison. Jim Morrison, Zillary, well before your time, beta. Don't Google. Yes. Don't break my heart. <laughs> don't break last my heart. One, not doors. one last one? Okay. No, no, don't break my heart is a totally different song. Oh, Doors yeah. is uh, uh, LA uh, woman. Yeah, on to. Goes, I, yeah. It goes on and on. The also, Grant Morrison is a form. great Morrison. Grant Morrison, yeah, Morrison. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Brown eyed girl. Very yeah. good. I think Van Morrison is almost same oh. vintage, yeah. Yeah, Van Morrison. No, Van Morrison yeah. is older than uh, yeah, old, uh, is newer than the Doors. I think Van Morrison is seventies. Seventies, eighties. He yeah. Doors was seventy-one. He was dead. The three J's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all died. But, uh, Van 71. Morrison, I think, I, I think like Brown eyed girl was like late seventies song. Yeah. No, no, I'm talking so about I'm Grant allowing, Morrison. That is, Do you guys huh? know Grant Morrison? Oh, Grant Morrison. I cannot stop it. No, enough. Okay, Grant well, Morrison is a comic book writer. Leg- legendary comic book writer. You know, Marion Michael uh, Morrison was John Wayne's oh, real name. Oh, Grant Morrison. Name. Okay. Dude, yeah, we're yeah, talking yeah. about so, music. You're bringing up... Uh, you're I know. I'm just talking about Morrison. Morrison. He's just feeling left out. He wants to show off. He knows a Morrison. Everybody knows a bloody Morrison. Morris is a Parsi surname. There are a few Morrisons out there. Uh, without the sun, of course. Okay, come on, guys. I've got to go and get my antigen test done and then enter another studio. And okay, okay. To final, work. final. Final. This is a great uh, question. Sorry, school. Can you just lower your mic a slight bit? It's uh, okay. popping. Yeah. Like, uh, popping, yeah. Uh, no, a little bit upper uh, now. It's uh, upper. Okay. <laughs> After yeah, one or nine minutes, you think <laughs> this is the right time to get it right? The audio, I think, is too late. Oh. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh. Tarun Kosik has a question. He says, talking of traffic and uh, a great person stuck on the highway for 20 minutes yesterday. What was the longest traffic jam you've been stuck on road? And what did you do during that time? My God, death of a religious leader. I remember three hours on uh, Marine Drive flyover, the Princess Street flyover. I won't take names. That was just ridiculous. We did not move. Jogeshwari uh, flyover during an MTV shoot, uh, late 90s. They were building it. It was half done or whatever. Something happened and we all stuck on that. That was also two, three hours. Eventually, we went by train. I remember they all made fun of me saying, Is your first time on a train and things like that? It was not, it was my second, but yeah, I have memories. Amit, uh, three hours, six four hours, hours in procession. Ganpati in the old days, Ganpati used to be really bad in the yeah. old days before they started marshalling it properly. Yeah, I, I, I spent six, six hours, hours where the from tsunami Pilmis, from Pilmistan Studios to my house on December 6th before the ceiling. Oh. We had to go through Shivaji Park, right. Correct. And uh, okay. remember on December 6th, there, uh, yeah, there yeah. is the Ambedkar thing that happens. Ambedkar over there. Jain thing. Yeah. yeah. And because of that, the traffic is insane. And the, you had no other way to go. That was the only route you yeah. had. Six hours from Goregaon Film Missan to Malabar Hill. Yeah. So that's no, no, one of we have. My, uh, my brother's nanny uh, got stuck overnight. Uh, just last weekend in uh, on uh, so I-95 outside of Washington, D.C. Uh, there was snow and everything went to there. Uh, so his nanny got stuck overnight in the in the car. Couldn't get uh, just stuck all night. So 
third world country are we saying yeah. that <laughs> look at how stupid is i've got me to a 20 minutes huh. i i just before the pandemic like i would say like 6 months before the pandemic actually hit i got into the stupidest traffic exam which is it was inside my own like colony complex i was stuck in like a 100 meter sketch stretch for like a good <coughs> one hour one hour 15 minutes which was just so frustrating i can't get Why? out of my own colony route <laughs> What, it was it just some truck was backing up or something, man. And the the road is a little narrow, so they couldn't. So they couldn't. There, there yeah, I think you understand. Know, Everyone, there's an accident on the highway. It takes us too long to clear. I remember being in Singapore, <laughs> and the driver telling me, "Sir, we have a seven minute delay. Why there's an accident up ahead?" And that, and it was already calibrated to seven minute delay. Seven minutes. <laughs> Our accidents, we have to get out. Ask the taxi driver, "Can I see something?" After all that, you know, hours pass, and then finally you pass this one accident site. And you're wondering why can't we remove accidents in a faster pace? You know, in the 21st century, just get them to come to yeah. the side of the road ASAP. Uh, Actually, I'm remembering victims, another. Don't leave them there. I, I'm remembering yeah. another major one. Uh, so when I was seven or eight years old, we went to Lonavla. And hmm. back then, Lona, there was no freeway again, right? So I mean, like uh, uh, the uh, Mumbai Pune Expressway was not there, so you had to do like the old road. There was an accident on the ghat, and we got stuck for a lot of hours. So much so that we found a waterfall, and we all went and like you know, were uh, basically you know how you go and stand under waterfalls when you're kids. We were all going and standing yeah, under I've... waterfalls and stuff like that. Did you get that stuck coming like out, coming back from Navla? Is that when you got stuck coming back from Navla? Uh, no, this like, was on the way to Navla. This was on the way. Oh, okay. This was on the way to Lonavla. Now I remember in college we got stuck for like four hours coming out of Lonavla, uh, back to Bombay. Uh, wow, good four okay. hours and all. Yeah, I just. Remember. But did you buy chikki on the way or not? Uh, uh, <laughs> no, we had a lot of chai because buy... chai walas come and uh, then they know that oh. oh traffic jam I get. Like, another world. Chai. These guys are young. They don't care yeah. about chikki and all this. Ah, you know, we're wasting time with the references. Like, chikki, what is it? Was it some Punjabi girl that he met somewhere? He just is completely gone over. Delhi, Delhi. You don't have the curse of the nineties and the eighties. God forbid, really. Uh, okay, guys, I'm off. Have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow morning. I'll be in my studio. I hope. I'll pass a test. Bye bye. Thank you. All right. See you.